Fresh developments in the model Sonika Chauhan death case, the accused Vikram Chatterjee's blood report has come back inconclusive. In fact, the report says that the blood sample collected from Vikram was inadequate to prove if he was drunk on the night of the accident or not. Model Sonika Chauhan died on April 29th. The car in which she died was being driven by actor Vikram Chatterjee, allegedly in a drunken condition. We have Tamal joining us on the phone line. Tamal, we have Tamal joining us right now with more details on the case. Uh, Tamal, why are questions now being raised on this investigation, especially on this blood report? Right, and that is a fresh development that we are getting for you on the Sonika Chauhan death case. Um, uh, model, Con uh, mo model Sonika Chauhan, of course, met with an accident and she died. That car was being driven by Vikram Chatterjee. We have Tamal now uh, who's joining us with the latest details on the case. Tamal, what are you hearing from the police? Totally silent on the issue as why they had sent the blood sample almost 10 days after the incident. Let's recall, on 29th of April 2017, at around 3.30 in the morning accident happened. Sonika was rushed to a nearby private hospital at around 4, where she was gasping for her breath. Vikram too was there. Vikram was given first aid. Sonika was uh, declared dead at 4.50 a.m. And Vikram later on got himself admitted, complaining of further ailments. Uh, thereafter, as per the standard operating procedure, as per the protocol when in the case of accident and especially with the demise of one of the victims uh, it had been it was incumbent on the hospital to collect a blood sample inform police and also send that blood sample for uh, for for uh, you know for sample test to understand whether the person was under the influence of any kind of intoxication now this is the report which we have access our response that uh, has come from state forensic laboratory to the deputy commissioner of police south division now in this response, in this uh, in this report, uh, the state forensic uh, forensic department is uh, citing their inability to confirm whether Vikram Chatterjee was drunk or not. Let's go by the first thing, the date. Here, the date says 8th of May 2017 is the way, uh, is the date when the blood sample was sent, and then the report concludes that uh, the the plastic wheel here in the case uh, this the serum contained approximately 0.5 ml straw color liquid said to be serum of Vikram Chatterjee. The c examination result is the sample sat to, uh, said to be serum of Vikram Chatterjee was received in the laboratory in such a small quantity. Poison could not be detected by the available method of chemical analysis. Sorry, it's too windy out here. So I wish. Um, uh, so the report clearly says that uh, the forensic department could not confirm or could not do, could not conduct a proper test to understand whether there was a presence of alcohol on Vikram Chatterjee's blood or not because the sample which was sent was 0.5 ml. Now the required amount is. 0.10 ml so it had, it had that been 10 ml they could have done the sample so instead of that they have sent only 0.5 ml so definitely the state forensic department has cited their inability here comes the role of cops did they know or are they aware of the procedures the the, the officers who who had first uh, reported to the police station uh, reported to the hospital first it was anandapur police station under which ruby hospital comes and then it was toliganj police station Tamar, because place fact, of occurrence uh, accident also if if we can if you could just uh, recap the entire case uh, for our viewers over here uh, if I recall right, it was a video that was accessed by the Times Network. It was footage accessed by the Times Network, which actually got the police to act on the case, right? Absolutely. In fact, as I said, the incident happened on 29th of April 2017 and thereafter we have not seen any progress in the investigation. In fact, Vikram was booked under Section 304A, which is ne negligence, death, uh, death under negligence of Sonika Chauhan, the model come actor, a very uh, known uh, face in Calcutta. Now, she was travelling with Vikram Chatterjee. They were coming back from a party and uh, at around 3.30 in the morning, uh, close to Rashberry Avenue in South Kolkata, the accident happened. 
happened. How this accident happened, no one knew about it. And Vikram Chatterjee, after being re released from the hospital, came out, did a press conference, washed off his hands completely from any responsibility and said that he was not under the influence of any intoxication and he was not driving the car at a very high speed. And there where Times Network's investigation began. Somebody who comes out of the hospital and founds, uh, finds it important to hold a press conference to cite his uh, own defense rather than meet a bereaved family you know, sparks some, some sort of suspicion. And Tell with us, that investigation, the investigation time, time Network began, Right. Uh, we, we we found we found we found visual evidence of Vikram Chatterjee parting with his friends, holding a glass of liquid and dancing to glory on the dance floor. Now our investigation reveals that he did not only stop at one of the pubs; he was in a pub pub, pub hopping mode. So he actually went to three pubs, and in all these three pubs, uh, eyewitnesses accounts say that he was drinking. Vikram Chatterjee, after Times Network's expose, after being summoned by cops, he did admit that he drank, but he was not not drunk but then there are four eyewitnesses who had testified before Times Network who had eventually been called by uh, Kolkata police and who had also given their statement under section 164 uh, or CRPC which is a statement before a magistrate which is admissible in the court of law where all these four witnesses have claimed that they have seen Vikram drinking, drinking to glory not once, many a times at different places clearly, clearly challenging the theory Vikram Chatterjee had floated that he only had one peg, he had uh, less than 30 ml so he had a drink but he wasn't drunk. Right, the other on. thing cops are now heavily relying on uh, is the uh, the car report, the car speed report, and the, uh, the the car speed report now suggests the car was driving a he was driving the car at a speed between 95 and 105, way above the speed limit on that very stretch where the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour. Samal also tell us this now that uh, this blood report has come back inconclusive because the sample sent was not enough. Uh, what next? What will the police do going forward in the case? Are they telling you anything? Well, this is very unfortunate. We are not saying that Vikram Chatterjee was drunk because I, you, we, we have not seen him drinking. We are going by eyewitnesses account. But then for the sake of investigation, fair investigation, the blood sample could have been extremely important. This blood sample either could have gi given him a clean sheet as he was not drunk or could have uh, established that Vikram Chatterjee's blood had enough content of uh, alcohol, uh, enough to make him uh, intoxicated or uh, while he was driving. So that crucial piece of evidence is totally lost, lost permanently because we will never come to know whether Vikram Chatterjee was drunk that night or not. Now what happens? Now cops have now gone ahead and invoked a fresh charge, charge of section 304, which is culpable homicide not amounting to murder. And mind it, this is only after Times Network's investigation, expose, cops had began their fair investigation because it was our expose that, that had also uh, in a way prompted Mamta Banerjee, the state chief minister, to, to to kind of give a dressing down to Kolkata police and demand a fair pro because she was not aware of all this. Now finally after Kolkata police started acting and truth slowly slowly started coming out they have now invoked section 304 which is culpable homicide now am not amounting to murder. Why have they invoked the fresh charge? Because now they are relying heavily on the eyewitnesses account. All the eyewitnesses have said that they have seen Vikram drinking, drinking heavily and the other thing they are relying heavily on is the cars, the, uh, you know, crash data retrieval report. Now CDR, this report basically establishes the speed of the car at the time of the accident and that report establishes the car was at a speed between 95 and 105 when the accident happened. So these are the two factors that uh, cops are relying heavily on and, as, uh, and the reason why they have invoked a fresh charge. But then the obvious question now remains, uh, is section 304A which was non bailable uh, which was bailable was initially booked uh, uh, or invoked and now that section 304 which is non available has been invoked. When will Vikram Chatterjee get arrested? We have to understand Vikram Chatterjee is out on bail in the same case and the bail order remains valid till 1st of September uh, 2017. It's 1st of September when the case would be heard once again. So whether cops would now finally move to court once again, will the cops now take legal recourse and ask for the cancellation of the bail or they will they will right, go Amal, with the other uh, uh, technical aspect which is details, they can actually Amal. go ahead and arrest him or whether Vikram Chatterjee will surrender himself or not that remains to be seen. Right, so that is, uh, that's a case, of course, that we will track very closely on Mirror now. Tamal, thank you very much for those details.